Hi everybody, welcome to another render demo, how to draw a video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a piano. So let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to draw the keyboard section. So we're going to draw some lines over on the left side of the page. And if you want to use a ruler, you can do that. So we'll draw a couple lines like this. So I'm going to draw my first line. And then what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to draw a line, a short line horizontally. I'm going to draw one down. It's a little bit longer. Then I'm going to draw another one that's kind of not going to perfectly parallel this way, but down slightly at an angle. All right, so I'm going to draw that line. That's going to be about the same length as the vertical line there. And then we'll draw another one down. So we're going to draw this like step shape there. Now what that's going to do is these lines here will draw them that they slightly, they start pointing over here to almost like a vanishing point there. So we're going to kind of radiate these lines a little bit, just a tad. Okay. And don't worry if you extend these, we'll, we'll fix that up in a second. So we're going to do this one first. All right. So we already have this one in and then I'm going to draw this one and we're going to come out from this distance here. We're going to try to go a little bit wider over here. And if you have a ruler that you can see through, that'll actually help you out a lot. All right. So this next one, we're going to start to, here we're starting to get a little bit wider here and then we'll go a little bit wider like that. Bit. That might have been a little too much. So you don't want to go too crazy with how, how wide they start splaying, okay? So we have this line here. I'm just gonna fix this up a little bit. So they'll splay just a little bit. And this one here could be just a little. Okay, so the next thing, I'm just going to extend this out just a little bit more. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how long of a keyboard we want to do. So I'm just going to put a line right about here. And then this line will be vertical the same way as that, okay? And then this one over there, we're going to do one similar, but as you can see, if I drew a line all the way here, then we'll have another one almost like a vanishing point over there, go up like this, and then we'll come up and go back over to that line, that point right there. Okay, so then we can erase these extended lines. Okay. There, step one, we're done. <laughs> Next, let's draw the shape of the, the top of the piano. So this is gonna come right off of here. What we'll do is we'll draw a little line up. So we're gonna have just a little bit of a, a step up there, okay? And then we'll come out like this. Okay, and then this one will come out as well. Like that, it's a little bit shorter. And then what we'll do is this will have a curve in it. All right, this will be kind of curved like this. And it'll come to about here. And then it'll come back. Like this. this is a little bit tricky over here. We'll have like a little curve in it, like that, okay, all right, now the next step, I'm going to just draw a line where I kind of made those elevated shapes, like that, and then down over here, 
what I'll do here is I'm going to do a curve that's rounded like this, and that comes up to meet right over here. Okay, and then we'll draw this line down from this edge here. See where this comes here? It starts to turn. We're going to draw a line that kind of comes down from that. And then this line here will come and meet up with it, just like that. Okay. And now if you want, you can go and add the thickness of your, your wall right here. So I'm going to go and just kind of follow this line like this. And we'll just terminate that over here. That'll end like that. Okay, it's looking a little messy, but don't worry. We're going to use our ink pen and then we'll erase and it'll, it'll be nice and clean. Okay, the next step, we will add our piece here, an additional piece that's roughly about half the distance from here. So if you go like about there, and that'll come across like that. Okay, now we're gonna have the piano opened up. So this top part is gonna open up, but we're gonna see the piano strings inside. So what we'll do is from this point here, we'll draw a line like kind of off to an angle. And it's almost like if you took this, if you took this length here and you kind of like open that up, you know, where would that go, right? It's gonna open up and it's gonna come, let's say it's gonna come right about here. So then I'll draw a line from here to here. And I'm just gonna double that up because it's gonna be kind of like a box. Like it's the, the thickness of the top panel, like that. And then over here, it's gonna hinge right about here. And then what this is gonna do is this is gonna come up. And what we'll have is, you know, these lines are kind of continuing to point and line up with that point there. So we'll come like this so this ledge here is going to be, you know, right about here. So we're drawing that like this. And that's going to go like this. And then what we'll do is this will come down like this. And then it'll be curved like that. So this one's a little tricky. And I think what I did was I didn't draw this long enough. So I'm gonna fix this because it's not looking right. So I'm gonna go and probably go about here. And again, it's a little bit of fine tuning and that's okay. Because we're not all perfect. So before I make the other side, let's just figure out how this is gonna look. So we'll come like that, and then this will come in like this, and then this will flare this way. I think that's going to look a little bit better, just like that. Okay, then I can go and add my thickness in here. And we'll add that line in there. Just like that. Cool. Okay, now I drew this curve here, and I'm going to draw the same on this side. So this is going to be the edge. So we're going to come across like this. And then it's going to come up like that. And then over here, we'll draw the other side. Just like that. 
And on this side, we'll draw out the other side of this. Comes up like that. It meets right there. Okay. So there we go. We're getting our keyboard section defined a little bit better. Now, well, we have a thickness here, right? This height here, we want to kind of carry that inside. So we will go like this. So it's not this full length, but we're going to follow this line here. Okay, so we're going to go like this. And then we're going to curve like that. And that's going to kind of come out over here as an example, okay? And then there's going to be a line down like that and then we're going to have the other part of the piano here that comes down so this comes here it's going to come in and then it's going to come back around this way like that okay so there's our edge of the piano now we want to draw the legs. So let's draw one over here. This one will come down like this. And then we're going to do like a little corner shape like that. So over here, we'll put a line in the middle of it like that. And then over on this side, we're going to put another leg that's coming up there. It's going to be right about here coming down and now if you want to know where this ends if you keep taking these lines here and then kind of continue so that one will end right about there and then this will come this way come back that way and I'll go back up like that. All right, now we're going to have the center. Let's put the center pieces in. So if we go here, halfway is right about here. And then we're deep in here. So they're coming from like behind, about over here. So we're going to come down and do like this. And I'll just do this a little bit of a round shape at the bottom. And I'll do another one. That and this flat shape. Like that. And then that's like the three petals. Four petals. Yeah, put the center line to there if you want. Okay, then we can draw some lines for our strings. So we can do some lines that, you know, just to kind of simulate, don't have to be exact. We'll just draw some chord, some strings like this. So we're going to draw a pole right about here, and it's going to come down to about this area here. So we're going to go like this, and it's going to have a little bit of a taper to it. Just like that. So that's going to hold our piano top cover open. And then we can add some keys for the keyboard. So we can just draw... 
a few lines. And I'm just drawing the black piece. I'm just gonna draw two groups of two. So I will go and erase some lines and then add in my inking and then we'll color this in. We'll be back in a sec. Okay, there you go. We have our piano ink in and I'm gonna go and we're just gonna erase a few of these lines and then some of the stuff that we didn't want, we kind of correct it as we were inking. So you can make those fine tuned adjustments at that point as well. And now when you erase all your unwanted lines, it'll be nice and clean. And go ahead and color it in. So there you go, we just drew a piano. This one was fairly complicated, but we got through it. Hopefully yours looks really cool. You can pick any color. I didn't want to do black because I wanted to be able to show some of the lines coming through. So I chose kind of like a purple type of color and that way you can kind of see all of the shading and stuff like that. So don't forget, click that subscribe button down below. That way you can see new tutorials that are coming up and we will all see you next time. Bye-bye.